Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I'm going to be doing the daily scripture writing for day six. I am a day behind because I had my grandson over yesterday and I had a lot of running around to do. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. If you could give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be great. I appreciate it. So with that being said, welcome. And... We are on day six, which is Isaiah 40, 31. I'm trying to get to the devotional as well to show you that I literally did day six. And I'll show you in a few seconds. Okay. It's like sliding over. So what are we doing for January? We're working on the promises of God, reading, writing, praying, and reflecting. So again, day six, I am... Terrible, terrible. So behind. So soap study, scripture, observation, application, prayer. I always put soap and then I get so far behind. Okay, so we finished on the 5th. This is the 7th. So we finished on the 5th, the real hope, the promises of God, a five-day devotional. Leave in the comments below, how did you like it? I liked it. I liked it a lot. So now we're on enforcing you standing on the promises of God, a 10-day devotional. So we're on day two of this one. So day six, today's the seven. Ooh, that's my budget planner. Um, so this is day seven, day six. Sorry, I got to work on day seven today. So there's a bunch of questions. And it's talking about, you know, the poem and God being you know, the master poet. I can kind of like how that was said, so I put he was, you know, um, speak the message for God. Um, the works of God is a creator. I didn't like the way the person put that he was a master poet. And, because to me, it's like, He's the only person, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't know. I just didn't like the way it was read. So she put here, um, these are questions she asked. Do I present a message that the the world, is that world or would? That would, okay, that would draw others to want to know God. And you're supposed to answer that. What about me? So she's asking, did she do it? And then what about yourself? The next one is, do others see the love of God in your life? I hope so. And then are you drawn to God and by the way you live your life? And then she had a few, like, here is the prayer. I think it might have been in the prayer. I agree that in my life I've written... By your hand, and that the day is significant to you. reflect on your heart. I will speak. No, I don't know where she put it, but I just wasn't feeling it. So that is day six. And then I put, I started January 7th with, they start off with the um, scripture of the one. 139.14 so you really don't have to rewrite the scripture if you do it like how I do it on top I ended up rewriting the scripture because the scripture is here Ephesians 2.10 and I rewrote it because this is the NIV version so a little bit of the words are different for we are his workmanship for we are God's handiwork so see how it's a little bit different so there's that so I'll be working on the rest of that today once I finish day seven of the video. Well, uh, probably after I finish this one. So yeah, so we're still working on enforcing. We don't want to turn to those other pages that are bad. So 431, well, they're not bad. It's just, I didn't do my soap. Start with the NIV version. So Isaiah 431. There you go. Now we were just here for the word peace. And 1027. I love, no, not peace, peace, patience. So, 4, 
40, 31. I'm so behind. But those who hope in the Lord, let's see, will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Let's say it again. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So is everyone caught up? Or is it just, I hope it's just me that's behind. I'm just a day behind though. So how is everyone doing? How's your weekend going so far? Today is Saturday. Today makes 27 years my son has passed. Yesterday was 26 years he was, um, that was his birthday. I mean, not 26, 27 years that was his birthday. So he's 27. Birthday on the 6th, passed on the 7th. We were still in the hospital when he passed. I delivered way too early. So I tell my daughter all the time because social media is giving her a little bit of stress. And I told my daughter all the time, look how, you know, I had. You don't have your brother here. Like, they're, they're called Irish... Uh, twins because they're born in the same year he was first and then she'll be 27 in November it's just people like to tell her how to do things and some people don't like to be told especially if you're going to say it in negative ways so but that comes with social media. Like, social media is one of those things. Like, I was telling somebody, you know, back in the day, we didn't have social media. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have Snapchat and all this other stuff. We had a pager when we were older, but that was it. And then came the phones. So, yeah, it's just craziness. Could you imagine now trying to, you have a pager and there's no phone boots anymore, you know, especially in Chicago. I haven't seen any. And then you're trying to go call somebody when you're out and about and all you have is your home phone. <coughs> Talk about <laughs> not good. Okay. So that is the daily scripture writing. So let's read it from the She Reads True, Isaiah 40, 31. But those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not faint. And say it again. But those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not faint. So that is the daily scripture writing for day six. I'm going to do the devotional and then I'll come back once this video is uploaded and start day seven. So let me write day seven while we're here. Because it's not going to take the whole page for the soap study. I like this pen. It's the Celio Gel. You could get them at Dollar Tree or Family Dollar. T7 is Psalms 29.10. Okay, so we're all set. Verse 10. So I shall be back. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.